loved is A back on your screen with another one. Hope you're all well, as you can tell from the title today. Ooh, that was loud. We're doing a little cook with me, Legally Blind edition. I'm starting off my morning with a smoothie. I'm not gonna show you that because I do it in the vlog all the time. But everything, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and dessert, I'm gonna show you how I do it with minimal vision. I hope you guys enjoy this one. If you do, you know what to do. Tap the like and let's get into it. But first, If you saw the clean with me, you already know. <laughs> okay, let's ease into the day with some crepes. I'm obsessed with this recipe. I got it a couple years back when I used to manage an ice cream shop and I stopped making it for years. And then one day in the vlog, you see I'm talking to the camera because this should be part of a vlog. I just decided, you know, let me try that again. And it turned out amazing. I mean, the first one, you can see, not so much. I don't know what it is about the first crepe, the first pancake, the first waffle. It's always tragic. But once you get the pan primed, you're gonna have an easy time making these simple crepes. There are only four ingredients, five if you're fancy like me. I like to add a little vanilla extract to kill the egginess, you know? So you just let it sit. After a couple minutes, you flip and that's it. Of course, you're gonna do this on a day when you have more time, whether it be a weekend or if you're working from home. And then you can have up to five or six shells to last you the week that are so easy to heat up in the oven and top and fill with whatever you like. Do you prefer savory or sweet crepes? My go-to is always sweet, as you'll see. As you can tell, it's just the same routine. Once you've made that batter and let it sit for at least a half an hour in the fridge, it's good to go and you can pour as much as you want. I wouldn't recommend leaving the batter for more than 24 hours. It just doesn't work as well and the texture isn't as good when you make the crepes. All you gotta do is roll the pan, spin it in a circular shape to spread the batter. Wait until it looks slightly glossy on top. Put your spatula underneath. Flip. That's it. So simple. Now it's time to dress up this crepes. You already know my go-to is Nutella. This is just an excuse to have Nutella in the morning, okay? Bananas and strawberries. For the purpose of this video, I did the most, but usually I do half a banana instead of a full one and two strawberries instead of four. It just, it's giving burrito right now, which is a little bit much. And as if that wasn't enough, I went OD with the icing sugar. I usually skip on that when I have it day to day, but I thought it'd be nice for the video. What is a day without a matcha? There's only a handful of days throughout the year that I go without a matcha moment. If you know me, you already know this is a staple of my morning routine. I have to have the grassy, refreshing, creamy taste of a flavored matcha. My two picks are vanilla chai and cream of Earl Grey. Those matchas are so amazing. And they give you a caffeine kick without the crash. I'm telling you, coffee ain't got nothing on a matcha. lunchtime and I'm feeling chicken. I hate cutting chicken skin and fat. I think it's the worst thing ever, especially when you can't see well, but you gotta do your best. Just take your time, cut it. Don't forget to season it. I'm marinating it with jerk seasoning and barbecue seasoning today. Of course, this is a weekend lunch. During the week, I would probably already have this as meal prep. I like to fry it so it's crispy on the outside before I put it in the oven on top of a bed of lettuce, on top of a bed of rice. Another alternative is my go-to soup. Start by peeling your carrots and your potatoes too, and then take your time cutting. Sometimes you would think that the things that are more dense to cut would be easier, but they're actually trickier because your knife may slip. So take your time with it, even when cutting something as small as garlic. Just take your time and get it right and be safe. I have three options for lunch today. This one is better suited for a quick lunch. A simple pasta, you start by mincing your ginger, then your veggies. I love portobello mushrooms. They're really easy to cut too, because they're so huge, season it up, 
I saute it right. Add in your tomatoes or whatever other veggies or protein you like. While you're doing that, you're gonna add in your pasta. Anyone can boil pasta, it doesn't matter how much you can see or not see. And then when it's al dente, you add it to your frying pan. And that's that on that. Just kidding, you add more seasoning, then you add sauce and cheese. I wanted to show a vegetarian option for those of you who don't eat meat. Now on to dinner, or do you call it supper? Either way, whatever it's called, tonight we're making maple soy glazed salmon. It's so simple, so easy. All you gotta do is marinate your salmon, add a little extra seasoning, shake, and set in the fridge for at least half an hour. Then all you gotta do is pop it in the oven for 20 minutes, the best thing about fish is there isn't as many risks as there is with beef, pork, or chicken. Either way, I like my stuff cooked, cooked. Glaze it, plate it, so delicious. When it comes to anything risky, think ground beef, pork, or chicken. Your vision's deteriorated to the point where you can't see pink, you're not sure, add at least another five minutes just to be sure. Rather something be well done than run your tummy later on. Lastly, but not least, my favorite course dessert. Today we're gonna make my favorite olive oil cake. I've done a completely dedicated video that I'll link to if you wanna see the recipe and how I go through it. But the most important part I wanted to show you is right here, using my magnification app to make sure I get my measurements right. You see, baking, cooking, anything in the kitchen can be messy when you can't see well. So just take time, take extra care. Double, triple check. The thing about baking is it's like a science experiment you could eat. You have to be very specific with your measurements. But something like this recipe is super simple, really easy to do, and it results in such a decadent, fluffy cake. Because this is too much for little me to eat, I gave away half. <laughs> you can see, once we cut into it, how luscious it is. Look at that, perfection. It tastes even better than it looks. Bon appetit. Well, that was fast. I haven't even finished my smoothie yet. Just playing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. Tap the like, subscribe for more. Comment down below any hacks you have for the Lulu Divine community. Until next time, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Love and later. Yo, this smoothie is thick with two C's.